resource for cannabis professionals and entrepreneurs. Download the Gondrepreneur app on your smartphone or tablet to catch up on cannabis industry news, scroll through our daily job listings, and learn about successful cannabis companies, executives, and investors. Gondrepreneur.com, helping Gondrepreneurs grow. Your connection to quality cannabis insurance services is spelled K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R. That's Karcher Insurance. We have worked with ventures like cannabis for over 60 years. We're proud to represent over 50 companies with tailor-made cannabis business plans for owners just like you to insure your product, your plants, and your pursuits. K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R spells out their full-service insurance services, ranging from commercial to bonds, to personal, from life to health, and more. Contact the team at CarcherInsurance.com and let our experience work for you. That's K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R Insurance.com. Contact Karen and the team at Karcher Insurance at 1-844-421-3560. That's 844-421-3560. The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Jesus Show podcast. According to live November 25th, 2015. Welcome to everyone listening live and on podcast. And most of you are listening on podcast. Now we are live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Our Friday show is a 90 minute show. Started that last week. Come check us out. It's time now for the story of the first Thanksgiving. You think you know the story of the first Thanksgiving? You do not. I'll tell you. I don't think this is the music I'm looking for. This will work for St. Peter's Spirit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the background music is. Here's the point. So the story of the first Thanksgiving. Gather the children around. The iPod or the computer or whatever you're listening on. Smartphone. Available everywhere, of course. iTunes and Stitcher and iHeartRadio. Search Tower Jesus. Take you back to the story of the first Thanksgiving couple months before the first Thanksgiving, things have not, not been going well between the pilgrims and the Native Americans, otherwise known as the Indians. Things are not going well at all. The Indians were discovering that white people were kind of assholes. White people were discovering that there was a lot of land, a lot of awesome land they could get they had to get rid of these fucking Indians. So things are not going well. They're very tense. And someone, the name has been lost to history. Someone had the idea of bringing the, the two groups closer together, the pilgrims and the Indians. Of course, how do you bring two groups together? Two words. Wife swapping. I'm not talking about that stupid the television show. I'm talking about full on banging pilgrims, banging the Indians, the Indians, banging the pilgrims, everybody's banging each other. Wife swapping, squall swapping, whatever. Whatever. 
the formulation and, and, the, and the, the, the conception and, and the, the, the doing of that idea is what marks the first Thanksgiving. That was the first Thanksgiving. It was basically a big fucking orgy where the Pilgrims dudes were banging the Indian broads. The Indian dudes were banging the Pilgrim broads. And they all gave thanks because what do you do if there's a lot of fucking banging? You give thanks. Understand the of Jesus. What about the turkey and all that? I'm getting to that. Don't rush me. This is my show. Stop it. Where did all the turkey and all that shit come from? Back then, they of course, had other, other slang, other phrases to denote the activities that they were engaged in. And banging the wife from from the opposite group, whether it be pilgrims or Indians. Banging someone's wife came to be known as turkey stuffing. Through the years, this turkey stuffing has formulated into a story that is much more literal. The actual stuffing of turkeys with stuffing. And eating of the turkeys. That's not what they were eating back then. They were eating pussy. And stuffing the fucking birds with their dicks. That's what Thanksgiving is about. Finding someone of a different race or ethnic group. And banging the shit out of them. Stuffing their fucking turkey. There's some bullshit story about you some turkey and some fucking yams and you watch some football and you went to sleep. That's not what Thanksgiving is about, you bastards. It's about fucking and wife swapping. Stuffing turkeys, bitch. Keep turkeys up in this piece. Another slang phrase from back in those days. So story of the first Thanksgiving, Stern Jesus Show podcast. <laughs> Stern Jesus Show podcast recorded live November 25th, 2015. It's enough. Sounds like a depressing song. I don't want to hear that shit. We got gay news coming up. Oh. It's, uh, you know, hey. I mean, I don't. I won't say that I, 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 don't, I don't relish the, the thought of. Taking the wool away from your eyes. I know you like the fucking story about the turkeys and, and all that bullshit. But that's not what this. That's not real life, kid. I keep it real. I keep it real to your face, to your dome. I'm telling you what actually happened. If you don't like it, you can keep up with the, bull, the bullshit turkey story or whatever. And, uh, you know, the, the pilgrims and the Indians were friends and so on and so forth. Bullshit. Now you know the truth. What you do with that information, that's up to you. Maybe something you can't handle. That's fine. Oh, Jesus. I sound very angry. I don't know why. Stern Jesus Show podcast, November 25th, 2015. Recording that shit live on Cannabis Radio on Spreaker. And of course, podcast and all the awesome platforms that I've already mentioned and will be mentioned again during this break. Biatch! The Stoner Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com The Stoner Jesus Show on StonerJesus.net and CannabisRadio.com with me, Stoner Jesus, we're healing the hate through the medium of indoor league bowling. During the summer, we heal the hate through the medium of slow pitch underhand softball. In the winter, it's indoor league bowling. I know. I know what you're thinking. Stoner Jesus, you're a genius. Of course, you're correct. Who else is healing the hate? I don't know. Are you healing the hate? Are you healing the hate like I am? I don't think so, son. I seriously and profoundly doubt it. And my sidekick, St. Peter. You know, but I'm out here hustling, man. I'm out here on the street hustling. I'm going to get you your money. 
I'm turning over a new leaf, Jesus. I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm going to get you the money that I owe you. I need about 240 bucks. I'm out here hustling on the street. I'm going to get you your money soon. What? What? No, no, it's $10 for hand stuff and $20 for mouth stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hand is 10. 10. Uh, mouth is 20. Anything else ready to negotiate? You can find the show by searching Stoner Jesus on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. Uh, but do not douche. Douche it. Douching is one of the worst things you can do. Sprays are bad as well because it, 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 it unbalances the pee to the vagina. And then you get a stinky smell. They have sprays? There are some girls that actually spray stuff down there. Do they, they stick it inside them or spray it? Or do they spread their pussy no. lips and spray it? Or how's that work? No, they just spray the... It's just like, you know, it's perfume. You give it a quirk, spray, spray the spray outside other. of it? Some people probably do that. I myself have never done that. Cause I'm <laughs> so- if you're going to spray your pussy with, like, perfume, you might as well not even worry about it. Exactly. Exactly. You've gone too uh, far. <laughs> Come check us out. And tell your friends. Man, we're running out of fucking time. Oh, I'm missing everything. I'm waiting on you, dude. Motherfucker. I'm just going on your list. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my list of uh, things to do while sitting home and what is a long fucking title. Yeah, no shit, man. Well, anyway, um, one, one of the things you can do while you're sitting there in the dark is, uh, is, is meditate. Meditate? Yeah, yeah. Meditate, Jesus. I believe it's like a uh, it's like a fancy uh, way of saying uh, you know you're gonna jerk off. I don't I don't think that's what meditate means. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is what it means. Jesus, it, meditate means to jerk off. Have we done this bit before? I don't think so, Jesus. I know what you're talking about. The following cannabisradio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Yeah. Bumpin' bitch. Stern Jesus Show Podcast, November 25th, 2015. Recording that shit live. <clears throat> Saw some of World Star Hip Hop. Recipe for Happy Thanksgiving with Weed Turkey. We'll definitely check that out before time runs out. End the show. Got less than 17 minutes left to go. It's time for gay news. The gayest of the gay news in the universe. It's from HuffingtonPost.com. HIV HIV positive men read mean grinder messages for one important reason. By the way, speaking of HIV, if you want to hear a Charlie Sheen HIV parody song, go on uh, SoundCloud and search Stoner Jesus 420. So apparently these are HIV positive guys reading mean dating app messages. Five and a half minutes. I don't know if we'll go into all that shit. And some of the guys taking part in their HIV strip bear photo shoot to read real messages sent to HIV positive people. Looking to meet. Are you clean? I wash. I don't really get this clean thing. Like, it just doesn't make sense. I shampoo, I condition, I exfoliate, I moisturize. I'm- okay, okay. Let me start off by saying you're really fucking nitpicking. Obviously, when they ask if you're clean, they mean if you don't have HIV. I understand we're supposed to pretend like HIV is not a big deal, and it's not a big a deal, obviously, as it used to be, but still, it's kind of something you don't want, like fucking chlamydia and clap and crabs and gonorrhea and warts and so on and so forth. It's something you want to avoid. I don't think it's out of the fucking realm of reasonableness for people to ask if you're clean. It's a euphemism to mean uh, uh, do you fucking have the HIV or not? Already fucking nitpicking 28 seconds into this shit. Pretty clean. Um, yeah. Shut up. Only until You shut up! That guy's sorry. Get each day, right? I'm pleasantly bothered.